Today, we are going to talk about how to invest in your first property as a foreign buyer. So first, we have to know who are foreign buyers. Are you a foreign buyer? Foreign buyer means anyone who are not a permanent resident or not Canadian citizens. Advice number one. Most foreign buyers should stay away from resale property. Resale property means second-hand property, which means someone used to live in this property, but now they want to sell it. Why? Reason 1. Foreign buyers have to pay extra 40% foreign buyer taxes. This 40% taxes is on top of your purchase price. So when you buy a second-hand property, you have to pay extra 40% on top of your purchase price. And of course, you can get those taxes reimbursed to you after you got your PR. But I've heard the process is very complicated and some people actually end up not getting it. So decision is up to you. Reason 2. Mortgage. If you don't have a Canadian income, then it is very hard for you to get a mortgage as a foreign buyer. Yes, Gia, I understand if I'm a foreign buyer, it's better that I don't buy a second-hand property. But if I still want to get into the Canadian real estate market, what should I do? Good news, there is something called pre-construction. What is pre-construction? And why is pre-construction good for foreign buyers? Pre-construction means any property that is sold by the builder because it hasn't finished. The building is still under construction or will be built. So the builder is solid before the building is finished or before they even start construction. Normally, a high-risk condo takes five to six years to be built. There are two reasons why pre-construction project is more friendly for foreign buyers. Reason 1. No foreign buyer taxes, as the building is not finished yet, so you don't have to worry about it. Reason 2. Don't need a mortgage. The building is not finished yet, so you don't have to worry about a mortgage for the next 5 or 6 years. And there are more benefits to purchase a pre-construction property. And we'll be talking about that in our next episode. Stay tuned. I look forward to seeing you soon.